owners is that um, uh, whenever they want to hand over their vehicles to the drivers, they should first of all demand their license and then present the license to DVL office for authentication. When we authenticate and the license is genuine, then he can, the owner can just go ahead and give the vehicles to the drivers because it's very, very important. There are a lot of fake uh, licenses in the system. So I would advise that they come for authentication before they hand over their vehicles. My advice also to the drivers themselves is that they have to make sure that they come to DVL offices to acquire their license. Uh, when they come, they will have to contact officers with tag on their neck or those with the jackets on. They are the people they should speak to, but they shouldn't speak to any other person because they may lead them to astray. So we are begging all the drivers to come to DVL offices. They should be bold to talk to any officer that they meet with the tag on or jacket on. Uh, finally, what I also want to say is that, uh, you know, during Christmas there are a lot of campaigns and also in the, uh, during the Easter a lot of campaigns to, just to keep the accidents down. But uh, after the uh, uh, festivities, Christmas and Easter, fe uh, Easter festivities, we all go to sleep. We don't uh, do much campaigns. Uh, so what I would advise is that the radio presenters, drivers need to be talked to almost all the time. So any presenter that mounts the station, or if he's intend to present anything, the first thing I would want them to do is that they have to advise the drivers, uh, give them uh, pep talks, and then advise them to be careful on the road. And this should be done almost all the time. Uh, I mean, 24 hours, 7, 24 7, so that uh, it will also help reduce the accident. But what I've realized, is that after the festivities, a lot of accidents because there is